Hey everyone, it's Juliana here and welcome back to today's video and you guys know what this topic is and today we are going to be doing a Q&A of pregnancy. Everything's going and a little updates and things like that. So that's going to be today and I'm going to be reading questions and answering for you guys. Alright, so let's get started with these questions. Um, I don't really know where to like begin, so we're just gonna read whichever one that I would pick to read and answer that question. Um, there's some questions that I probably will not answer, um, because we gotta wait until she's here. So, I am 25 weeks pregnant. I don't know when this video will be posted, but it should be along the 20 uh five weeks during um this week so and i am like 15 weeks until she's here which is crazy that she's so close <laughs> and yes i am having a baby girl so we're super excited so my husband, he's not going to be in this video, so it's just going to be me today. So my due date is April 10th of next year, so it's literally almost 2024, which is crazy. And she's literally almost going to be here, which is crazy. We've been together for like seven years of dating, a year and a half of marriage into that seven years of dating. And then we're having a baby. It's exciting. Let's get started with the questions. Alright. First one. What was the process of you getting pregnant? So it actually didn't take long. I know some people it's like hard to get pregnant right away. Or like it'll take years or months or weeks or something which is some people can't even like have kids at all and they try and try. They didn't know if I was going to be able to get pregnant or not because of the situation when I was born and like my jaw, my ears, like my whole face. And I wasn't growing when I was a baby too. So there's some stuff. Um, but like I know I didn't have any problem like down in the area or like anything wrong with me because I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't um, do drugs or do anything that can like just risk anything of my, of me and my body or anything. Um, I never took birth control, um, any medication, the only medication that I take is just like I, I free perfect and Advil. <laughs> So that's like the only thing that I pretty much kick. So, um, but nothing like bad or crazy that I do. Like, I'm not gonna risk things. Like, something else is gonna like kick risk, you know. But, but I kind of figured that I could get pregnant. Um, because I didn't have any problems down there or anything. <laughs> so, um, but. Yeah, it didn't take very long for me to get pregnant. I thought maybe it okay like a couple months, maybe a couple years, who knows. But no, it didn't. So we probably could have waited a little bit longer to have a kid. But we didn't know if we could get pregnant right away. So we just kind of tried. We tried for a couple weeks. And boom. Right away. So I think after three weeks. Tried. But I think I was pregnant sooner than that because my due date is April 10th and I was eight weeks pregnant for my first appointment and I didn't find out until four weeks until my appointment so I found out on August 2nd. I was eight weeks from my first ultrasound appointment, so definitely in July. So I think it was probably like 
a lot sooner right away. It just didn't show like on the test or anything. Um, I don't know. It's just weird. I don't. I don't know how it all works. Like, how can I be eight weeks pregnant when it didn't take that long? I don't. I don't know. I don't know how all this stuff works and how they calculate. It's just so weird. I don't. I don't really know. <laughs> I wish we could have waited a little bit longer, but I was having baby fever, so. And my husband agreed, like, yeah, well, why not? <laughs> so, yeah, and now we get a bunch of baby girl. Next question. How did you find out you were pregnant? I, um, basically I took a test, uh, a week before I found out that I wanted to do it like on my day off because I want to get ready and record myself because I had to work and I'm not going to have time for any of that so I had to do it on a Wednesday. So, did that on a Wednesday and it was negative and then I waited a week, a week or after and, and then it was positive. I'm like, God. Um, but yeah, it was crazy. How did you tell your husband you were pregnant? I mean most of the stuff is just gonna be like in the video so you guys can just watch the video pretty much to find out but I basically just had everything like kind of set up like because I got onesies and my uh, husband's cousin she works with me and she made like designs and she made a design of Dad, daddy's little helper and I got the little boots and things like that so I kind of like set it up and just like put it in the bedroom and have them come in the room and then there's a surprise so that's pretty much but you can check down below of the videos of everything did you always knew you wanted the baby gender to be surprised I did want it to be surprised. Like I didn't want to be like having the doctor tell me. I wanted to be like surprised, like a cake gender or like a party. We were gonna do a gender party, but we decided not to. So we did something private of a cake for real instead. But we still recorded it and stuff like that. So I still wanted to have like a old video of it. So, but it was still private. So I wanted to do that and things like that, so, but, yeah, it was a surprise. And I knew it, too. I knew I was having a girl. My husband, he knew the girl, too. But he just changed his mind. Like, he was like, he was like, since it was a boy, so. But it was a girl that so was like, mom always knows. But you never know that I can be right to you, so we just never know. So we just guess. But I knew all along, the whole entire time. It was so weird. And we did a gender one on our pets too. So our dog Max and our cat Chloe. I will also put that down below too, so you guys can see that too. So yeah, we did that, and they both picked girl. It was like. <laughs> Pets are smart, so if you do something like that, they could be right, could be wrong, you never know, but they were right. Like, I wanted to do that, just to, like, see. So if we have another baby, we're going to do the same thing for them. Was designing the nursery room hard when you didn't know the gender? So, we didn't know the gender when we did, like, the... Um, baby room so I'm in the baby room right now so we did like a this color for the baby room so if it was a boy I was gonna do like dinosaur theme and if it was a girl if it was a girl I would do giraffe and it kind of matches the theme if it was gonna be a girl I was gonna add flowers to this and other stuff that was just more girly if it was gonna be a boy it would just mostly be the same that we had um so i didn't really have to do much 
for a boy, but if a little girl, it would be a lot more things. And I thought this would be super cute to have this, and it lights up, so <laughs> that's just like my plan. And very cute because both of them are like more like jungle ish, so because like dinosaurs are like their nature and giraffe is nature too, so it's like they're both like leaves and you know they're animals so i wanted like those kinds of themes for the baby so we didn't really know the gender but we still kind of organized and all that have you had your name picked out for a while yes but we won't be saying her name until she's born but we definitely have a name and i've been stuck with the name for like a long time so, <laughs> I was looking at names before we even got married. Um, I don't know who was before we got engaged. I think it was after we got engaged. And then I was thinking about baby names. I was doing it with my mom. And, because I just wanted to figure out names. So, we just kind of put it together. And then there was one name for a boy and one name for a girl that I completely love so I definitely want to save that um but yeah we won't be saying like the name or anything or hint or we won't be saying like other names that we also picked but didn't use I mean we don't really have any other names we just have one name for a boy and one, well we have two names for a girl but I'm not gonna say what they are because I don't want you guys to like, oh, that's gonna be that name for the second or the third or something like that. So I don't really want to do that. So good, never know. I might change my mind, but I still don't want to put it out there or anything because I know some people know the name. It's just not everyone. <laughs> just the family and friends that will know the name. And she's gonna be here soon, and I've been still stuck with that name. Like, it is literally beautiful, and it works with our last name and the middle name and things like that. So, basically, the middle name will be our uh, middle name. So, my middle name is Rose. His name, his middle name is Stephen. So I just want to put something towards that with middle name for a boy and girl. So that's something I can tell you guys the middle name is going to be Rose. But I won't say the first name. <laughs> my belly is growing a lot. You can see the difference between my 20 weeks pictures to 24 weeks. I'm 25 right now so probably a little bit different but not too much. But yeah, it's literally crazy of how different it looks. <laughs> like, my belly got pretty big. <laughs> and she was a pound and four ounces um, from our last ultrasound. And that was December 6th. And today is December uh, 27th right now. So she's probably a little bit bigger. I just went to my doctor appointment today and they weighed me and I am 109 pounds right now so we're in a lot and I am only gaining weight on my belly and not my body. So you guys are wondering what like I use for my belly to like not get stretch marks. I just use this oil. Um, oil one that I got from Walmart um there's other stuff with it too like the um lotion and I don't really use that I mostly just use this like every morning sometimes the bed but mostly in the morning sometimes um especially when I go to work but yeah but I think it's working so <laughs> I would didn't really use like that much so um but I mostly started until like Maybe like when I was 18 weeks or so, I started using this. I don't forget. 
really remember, but yeah, I just started using this now, so <laughs> like it's a one stress mark. Which pre uh vitamin did you cake? I cake these ones. These kind. This is my second one. I had a first one and that was gone. So I had to get another one like near like Thanksgiving, so last month, like a couple weeks ago, I got another one. So yeah, this is my second one. So take two a day and they're doing 109 vitamins. So sometimes I take one, sometimes I take two. It just depends really, but mostly you're supposed to take two. So, but sometimes I might forget too, so. <laughs> But you don't really want to forget, but it's kind of hard to like remember because of work and stuff. So, are you nervous about labor? Um, I was nervous and scared at first, but I don't know if I am or not. It's I'm just like more like excited, nervous, scared, and like I don't know. Like, am I gonna be able to like do this? But. I am strong and I think I can do it because I had to deal with like a lot of things my whole life and especially my jaw surgery so but it is a little bit different but I sucked it up and deal with it and do the best way I can and just like be brave and strong and even her she's strong and she's brave like she she's just like me like she's just kicking moving around so much and her heartbeat's been so good and she just everything just been so good with her so it's like she's like me her little like face like it's literally perfect like i just i'm so jealous of her because i never had anything like that like she has perfect ears perfect nose and lips and a chin and stuff like that like nothing wrong like that's just crazy um it's like if she comes out to be perfect i'm gonna like ugh, be so like jealous because i never had any of that kind of stuff so it's like she's gonna be perfect little angel so it's like we were like worried about like she's gonna like be born differently or like something like me mm, or like worse than that or I don't know. I have like a mild ray, uh, rare case, or like I don't know what it was that I have, and it's like I mean she's gonna get tested after she's here, so we'll see if she has it or not, or I mean we'll know that she doesn't have it when she's here, cause I always know like. My kids are going to completely normal at lunch. She and all the other kids will have his like kind of look. But she probably looks like me but not all the things that she'll look like. Maybe she just won't have my ears or my like anything that's on the face really. Because other doctors they fix my face so it looks different. But... I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> but she'll probably look like me, but also him too, so but I would be fine if she looked like him. Cause I know that my kids aren't really gonna look like me exactly, but I would love that. But it's probably not, but who knows? We'll see and wait. But the author some pictures, 3D it looks so cute. I can put some pictures along here to show you guys how cute she is and she's looking perfect all that so she's a strong little girl <laughs> so what is your plans for work and motherhood so it's like are you gonna be still working and then taking care of the baby or are you gonna stay at home mom things like that probably what I was saying so I'm gonna be working still at my job but I'll be leaving um, probably in a couple weeks because I have 15 weeks until she's here, so I'll probably have like maybe 10 weeks of working, um, maybe more than that depending on like how she is and if she's low or 
Um, I don't know if I'll get like a C-section, things like that. I just don't really know. So, um, we're not there yet, but we're getting there. Getting close, but we're not there yet with all that information yet. Um, but she is a breach right now. Um, she's been a breach whole time, but she still is good. But who knows if she put her head down or not, I don't know. And I just don't want to work if she's like low or anything really. And I just don't know how like my belly's like gonna be big and I know that I'm have back problems and things like that. I can't really be doing that. A lot of walking and all that stuff at work. So I don't really want to risk things when I get closer. So I don't really know exactly my whole plan would work, but I'll have four months um, off and still get paid and stuff like that. So um, after that, I'll still be a stay at home mom, but I don't know my plan after that four months. Like I don't know if I'm gonna go back to work and do like part time or I might just take off longer. But I just don't think I'll get paid or anything so that's just kind of like I don't know my plan until like after four months so I don't really know. Will you share a lot of the baby on the vlog? Um probably not a whole lot but depending on what we do and especially if I'm gonna be at home all the time I probably will want to do some videos probably by myself and the baby probably not that much of him in the video some of the time he can be in the video but mostly me and the baby if I do but I am gonna be a first time mom so I don't really know so I'll be new at this and it might be a little bit hard to get record and things like that so I don't know yet so we'll see I do want to get some things out there on the video but we'll see what happens because I don't know so not really a question, but for my first trimester, it wasn't too bad for me. Like, my pregnancy isn't too bad. I feel like I'm not really pregnant besides, like, getting out of bed, like, pants on, shoes, and socks, and things like that. But mostly it's towards work, um, but it hasn't been too bad for me. Um, I didn't really have a whole lot of morning sickness. Um, I did, but it wasn't really like morning. It was just later at night, like before I had to go to bed, but it wasn't too bad for me. Like it's just like I threw up once and then that's it. But sometimes I feel like I just want to lay in bed. Like I'm just not feeling good, but I feel fine. But also sometimes it'll give me like that I want to eat more after, which is kind of gross, but yeah, it's just, it's just different, it's not too bad, I only threw up like probably like five times, which is not too bad, um, um, and then I just been very like tired, exhausted for three months, um, but I am still, but I am still tired, but I also have energy. But that's probably because I work all day on my feet, walking around, non-stop, so it's like, yeah, so like, it's like my blood is going down and not going up, that's probably why I'm so tired. So if you have a job like that, kind of like, go home and relax and put your feet up or something, but... I mean, it's a little, I'm still tired, like, all day, and then sometimes I go to bed so early. I don't want to do that, but you can also kick naps too. I barely kick in a nap, which I should and I want to, but it's kind of hard because of my job and I just, yeah, it's just, <laughs> um, but yeah, I've always been tired, um, even before I got pregnant, I've always been tired, but not that tired, um, but it was just too much, like, stress because of work and just, it's just too much, especially the pressure with being pregnant too, like it's just too much at work when you're pregnant, which I want to work for sure and 
help out and get stuff done and that's just who I am. I'm a hard worker and if I can deal with it, she can deal with it too. So it's just, sometimes I always worry like, is she okay? Like, cause like I'm out of breath and it's just like, I'm stressed and it's like, oh my god. But no, she's doing good and I'm doing good so, healthy. But it's just a little too much at work, so. Especially like right now at this time because of the holidays. So, yeah, but pregnancy thing just wasn't too bad for me. And um, I did get some heartburn um, near my second trimester. I got a couple of those like acid heartbeat. It wasn't too bad. It was just something like I eat or something. Um, I don't know. <laughs> So, but I still have them, but not that much. Um, sometimes, like, during the day, sometimes, like, later at night, sometimes it can get a little bit worse when I have to go to bed, and it's just, like, <sighs> why? So, it's kind of hard to, like, do that, but I went to the doctor and, like, kind of talked with, um, like, you can take Pepo, um, I don't know what was the other one, but, um, but you can take those things, but cravings it's not really that different for me um i've just been eating the same exact food that i normally eat so i guess she's just picky and i want to crave new stuff but doesn't really i mean there's some things i do add that's new that i normally eat but i still eat the same stuff so it's weird but i guess she's just picky like i just eat whatever i can eat. <laughs> i don't know I don't really know how it works, like, I, I mean, I don't know if it goes more, like, uh, towards the third trimester, maybe, I don't, I don't know, I'm almost there to do that one, so I don't really, we'll see what happens, um, but I also get, like, leg, um, beat, back pains, I would be fine giving birth and breastfeeding and stuff like that so things like that might be okay but you never know what could happen um so it wasn't out the way and see but it should be okay but who knows <laughs> but i am gonna get the epidur probably hopefully um because i only want to deal with the pushing out with pain so but who knows it, some people just have different labors, like, some can just have it, like, right away, sometimes it's, like, a couple hours, or, like, even hours, or, like, a day, I don't know, just depending on, like, how, I don't know, it's your body, so I don't really know a whole lot about all this, so, we'll just have to see with my doctor, and see what she says, and see how everything is, and, mm -hmm. We'll have a plan, but never know what it could work. Cause I want to give birth, um, natural, and the epidural probably. What's it feel like when the baby moves and kicks in your belly, and like is she kicking a lot, moving around a lot, and stuff like that? Um, I already said that she is kicking a lot, moving around a lot. And she is crazy in there. She's crazy in there. Well, and also like when did she start like kicking and stuff and they're noticing like her little kicks of like your outside and your belly and things like that i can answer and show you like some video clips too of her kicks <laughs> feels like it's just little pokes like you know like when you poke someone it's like pokes um sometimes it's like a big like punch or like a big poke or something I don't know it's not doesn't feel weird or anything so I mean it's pretty cute when she does it um but she's crazy when she kicks so much and moving around it's like moving like we have something like just moving in there I don't really know how to explain all that but I mean yeah it's actually not that bad or that weird I thought it was kind of weird, but not too bad. Like, you'd think it was, like, hurt or something. I don't know. But, um, sometimes it can hurt if she 
punching you or kicking you in like different areas so <laughs> like down the hair or like your hip or um your ribs or whatever up here sometimes she'll kick me like 10 times in a row or more my husband felt her the other day and she literally kicked him like 10 times but she was still kicking at her she he took his hand off the belly <laughs> but yeah she can kick every like little seconds um sometimes just little little bit and then like an hour after she does it again or 30 minutes after she does it again are you gonna breastfeed or do bottle or um pump and things like that i'm gonna do all of that um but i'm gonna do breastfeed first but i'm also gonna do pumping and bottle too but i think this will be the end of the video i hope you guys enjoy and make sure you guys put a big thumbs up if you guys like this and make sure you guys click that subscribe button and that bell so you guys can get an update on more videos and join the family journey of my presby and one baby girl here too if you guys have any questions just comment below or any video, video ideas just comment below and we'll try to do them but i do have some plans for some other videos but we might not be able to get a chance to do all of them but who knows and the, the youtube videos that you guys want us to do or tiktok or anything like that we'll try our best um but i doubt it <laughs> so i wish but we both work so it's like very hard i just wish we can do more videos like more often also make sure you guys um follow us on social media especially my page because i post everything through that like my instagram tiktok and my snapchat so make sure you guys follow before this and I want to show you guys my belly update and 25 weeks so I have 15 weeks left all right <laughs> this is my bump got a bump Twenty-five weeks that's a baby girl out there my little princess no. I hope you guys have a great day today and I will see you guys next time.